The Bethune Cookman Wildcats. If there's any team that's given us any kind of problems consistently, it's been this team. Yeah, they're 0 and 5, and they're 0 and 3 in swag play, but this team is full of fighters. Jackson State just gave them their most recent L and a heartbreaking loss in overtime. So up in Greensboro, North Carolina, you got the rivalry game between South Carolina State and North Carolina A&T. Meanwhile, down in Gainesville, Florida, you got the game of the week between the LSU Tigers traveling down to Gainesville to take on the Florida Gators. A top 10 matchup at that. But back in Daytona Beach, we got the 16th ranked Alabama State Hornets taking on the Bethune Cookman Wildcats. And boy, we got to deal with, well, we had to deal with Mike Lopez in season one. Now, season three and season four, we got to deal with Matt Simmons. Matt Simmons has killed us. Last year, he just murdered us. Ran for all over us, ran for well over 200 yards. Thank goodness we had Justin Chambers in the offense responding. But today, we need them to play the best game of their lives. Because this team, for some reason, when it comes to playing Alabama State, they find their catalyst. And on defense, we got to man up and make tackles. So as the game kicks off, you see that they're 0-5 and you see that they're looking to get their first W. And what better way to get your first W than beating the top 25 team, right? So Bethune Cookman comes into this game as one of the worst offenses in the country. They love running the option. And there goes Matt Simmons taking the handoff and getting the first down. So let's meet the impact players for the Wildcats. Adam McCray is back. He took the starting job for Bonner. There goes Matt Simmons, 5'11", 211 pounds, redshirt senior, power back, returns kicks, and, and uh, does punts. Then you have Fred Hines on the defensive line. There goes a good glitch play, but that was the end of the round. But that was stopped by Jamal Sykes. So here goes Simmons again. Taking the hand. Look at it. Look at it. We're going to have to deal with that all day. Third and long. McCray steps back to pass. He pops it deep. He's looking for Smith, and he makes the catch. He caught it on Cedric McNeil. There goes another end around to Matt Simmons, and Jamal Sykes takes him down. Second and goal, play action pass. McCray looking in the back of the end zone. He finds Metley. Touchdown, Bethune Cookman. A six yard pass, and the Wildcats have the lead early. So now we're back on offense. Second and seven. We got to respond quick. But Justin Chambers ran into a wall. So we got third and eight. Here goes the option play, the pitch, and the Wildcats are not falling for it. Justin Chambers ran into a wall of maroon and gold, and they get the ball back. Look at Matt Simmons. He's wearing Darren Sproles' number, much bigger than Darren Sproles. But goodness, he's making the number 43 look good so far. And then there goes Hines. Look at all those broken tackles. Blake Rollins takes him down, and then look at McCray going up the gut on the option. McCray's gone. Touchdown, Bethune Cookman. Oh, man. It's 14 0 Wildcats. We got an upset alert here in Daytona Beach, but then there goes the man all the way from VA. Getting tackled at the 40 yard line. Here he goes again on the halfback to Rick. He got blasted on that play, though. I ain't gonna lie, he got the wood put on him. So here we go. Oh, pause. So there goes Gene Singleton. He gets the, well, that's 30 inches. So on the option play, we go back to Cal Gray. He keeps it. He goes past the 40, the 30, and then gets inside the 25. That's a big run for the junior out of Decatur. It's 14 nothing Wildcats after the first quarter, but Alabama State's driving. Newton stepping back to pass at the second quarter commence. He pops it to baby Randy Moss, and he dropped it. Wow. Second and 10, go back to Gene. He runs into a wall. So third and 10, Newton steps back to pass under some pressure as he throws, and it's picked off by Mason, the strong safety. It's picked off by the strong safety Mason. So here come the Wildcats. Hines breaking tackles, spin moving, and he's finally taken down by Scott McFarlane. Second and seven. Here goes McCray this time. There goes Jamal Sykes. He's not full on that one. Third and long. McCray pops it. Then he finds Simmons. And Calgary takes him down. That's first and ten for the, for the Wildcats. 
Look at this broken tackle from Scott McFarlane. Look at that. Matt Simmons is a problem. Second and five. Simmons on the counter trap. And then look at that. Great tackle there by Blake Rollins. Third and four. McCray on the option keeper. The pitch to Smith. He goes down the right sideline. 40. And then Jason Moore finally pushes him out of bounds. Great run by Smith. So here goes Matt Simmons again. And he gets loose. And he scores. Touchdown. We got to pass the sticks. But we still have the chance to get back in this game. We're down 21 to nothing, and we can't make no mistakes from here on out. But that was an incomplete pass. So there goes Justin Chambers going up the right side, and then he gets past the 45-yard line. First and 10. We got to get back in this game. Back to Chambers. First down and more. Chambers up the left. Pushed out of bounds. We got to keep this going. First and 10. We're going to try to pass one more time. We're looking deep for Kevin Scott, and that was a bad pass thrown out of bounds. That had no chance. We're going to try it again. Newton deflected away by the linebacker. There goes third and 10. Chambers, right side. Tries to make a man miss, but he couldn't. But he get the first down. We're inside the red zone. We go to G Singleton, and we finally get on the board. Touchdown, Alabama State. 21 to 7. McCray back on offense with the Wildcats, and it's picked up by Blake Rollins. Blake Rollins, what a perfect time to get a pick six. And we're back in the ball game just like that. Let's go. Blake Rollins with a big critical interception. Our strong safety picking up a pass and going back for the first pick six of his career. The junior out of Forestdale doing big things. So now look at Bethune Cutman going, but look at this. Smith, man, beating Cedric McNeil again. And just like that, Bethune Cookman's right back in the red zone. Play action pass, McCray rolls out to the right, and that's dropped. That was dropped in the end zone. Second and goal. They're going to do another end around. But Jamal Sykes is not fooled once again on that one. Sykes already has four tackles. McCray rolling out to the right. This time he gets blasted by Cedric McNeil. They decide to take the three points. The kick is up and it's good. It's 24 to 14. 44 seconds left in the first half. Can we get one more touchdown before the half's over? We're looking deep for Jason White. And it's intercepted by White. They're White. Oh, man. Oh. So, 31 seconds left. And now Bethune Cookman has the ball. McCray pops it. He finds Metley. Metley up the middle. Metley's gone. Touchdown, Bethune Cookman. Oh, we're down 31-14. So Joseph Cooler has seen enough from Bobby Newton. He decides to go with Peter Burnett the rest of the way. We bitch Bobby Newton for the game. And then there goes Justin Chambers, the man all the way from VA, breaking a tackle, going up the right side, and Bethune Cutman territory. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. What a run. What a response before the half. It's 31 to 21 at the end of the first half. We got the ball first in the second half. There goes Gene Speedy Singleton going up the left side. Could he have turned that corner, he would have broke it loose. Burnett looking for Tim Brown, and he dropped it. He dropped it. Our receivers are letting us down. Here goes the power option, and there goes the pitch to Justin Chambers, and the man all the way from VA gets the first down. Big run. Chambers already approaching 200 yards, but this time Peter Burnett gets sacked in the backfield. Sacked by Moses, and so now we're facing second and long. Well, in this case, second in Panama City. And the man all the way from VA gets the first down plus a face mask. We're going to tack on. I think that's incidental, though. Nope, that's a personal foul. We tack on 15, and we keep it moving. First and 10. Burnett popping it up the middle for Marcus Williams, and he makes the catch. That's a big catch there by the Georgia Bulldog transfer. So here goes Burnett again, and this time he gets sacked. This offensive line just can't hold up on the blitzes. So we go back to Chambers up the left side. First down. First and goal, as a matter of fact. Chambers has 220 yards rushing. Back to Chambers we go. He runs into a wall of maroon and white. Well, maroon and gold in this case. So we go to the uh, end of the round. Kevin Scott can't get nowhere. Kevin Scott has been absent in this game. So we go back to Chambers and we get into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. We're only down three. We just got to stop the run. And we can get back into this game. 
Matt Simmons, though, has something else in store for us. Look at that step fall by Jesse Moore of the Mississippi State transfer. And he's loose. And he's finally taken down by Cedric McNeil. Woo! Oh, he could have broken that one. There goes McCray stepping back to pass. He's hit as he throws. And that's dropped. Ooh, that was dropped. So McCray's injured. And he's out for the rest of the game. So here goes the backup quarterback, Bonner. Third and 11. Bonner has all day to throw. He throws it on the run. And Mantley makes the catch on two defenders. Wow. Bruh. What a catch. Touchdown, Bethune Cookman. Now we're down 10. Burnett. Pops it up the middle, and that's dropped. Marcus Williams, he keeps dropping passes. And now Chambers, he has to fight for yards thanks to these receivers because they can't catch all of a sudden. And then there goes Chambers up the right side, and we get the first down. It looks like we're going to have to pin on our dynamic duo at running back to win this game now. So look at Peter Burnett, though. Look at that pass. We can't catch a break in the passing game. Gene Speedy Singleton. He gets like five yards, but we need more than that. So we're going with third and five. We're going back to Speedy Singleton. He takes it to the right side, past the 40. He turns the corner, 20, 10. Touchdown, Alabama State. Touchdown, Alabama State. Big run before the fourth quarter. 15 seconds to go. Here goes Matt Simmons up the gut. He breaks loose. This is ridiculous. He's gone. Just like that, but don't cut me and extend their lead back to 10. Touchdown Wildcats is 45-35. And now we have to get something going. We need a spark. Can we get a spark from Justin Chambers? Look at that juke move. And he's going up the left side. Pushed out of bounds. Big play there by Chambers. We needed that right before the fourth quarter started. So we're still down 10. We're going to try the pass one more time. And he dropped it. Tim Brown dropped another pass. So we're going back to the run. We might not do another pass for the rest of this game because our receivers keep dropping passes. They left their hands in the gump town, but there goes Justin Chambers all the way from B.A. going out of bounds. Look at that. We almost have 400 yards rushing. Burnett, though. Look at that catch by Marcus Williams. The Georgia Bulldog transfer comes through. He's the only one in this game making passes for us at the wide receiver position. And then that goes Justin Chambers cruising into the end zone. Beautiful blocking by Kevin Scott on the outside. Touchdown, Alabama State. We're down three once again. But we got to stop this run game. But Thone Cookman, they're going to run down the clock the rest of the way. Well, they're going to attempt to because they know we can't stop their run game. Matt Simmons is getting the load of the carries. There he goes up the up the right side. Well, the left side that time is Considine took him down. So then they give it to their fullback, Rivera. He gets some decent yardage and is manageable. Second and six. There goes Simmons up the gut again, getting another first down. And he gets into Hornet territory. So there goes Simmons again. This time he runs into a wall of white, black, and gold. They go right back to him. And this time he hurls two times and goes up the left side. It's tackled near the 20 yard line. Can we catch a break? So here they go once again. Look at William Dorsey, our true freshman middle linebacker. Second and 12 in around the Simmons. And just like that, it's manageable. It's 30 inches. Can we finally stop him? A toss play. We finally stop him. There goes Blake Rollins making a big tackle. We said they settled for three points. The kick is up, and it's good. It's 48 to 42. 51 seconds left in the game. We'll make that 46 after the kickoff. And then here goes Gene Speedy Singleton up the right side, making a man miss. Gene Speedy Singleton turns on the speed. Gene Speedy Singleton gets into the end zone again. Touchdown, Alabama State. Touchdown, Alabama State. Touchdown run number three for Gene Speedy Singleton. So we're going to go for two. And this is probably the stupidest call in the history of college football. Instead of going for the PAT, I decided to go for two. And instead of being up one, we're tied at 48. And there goes Bonner finding Metley up the middle. Beating Cedric McNeil. Bonner steps back the pass again. He's got Smith up the outside. And oh, 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 oh. oh that could have been ugly for us. Bonner. Oh, there goes Blake Koch with a clutch set. Third and long, 18 seconds. Bonner, suspect the pass. He pops it. 
is picked off by Cedric McNeil. He goes downfield and he's tackled out of bounds. And if we had went for the PAT, this game would have been over. But instead, we got overtime. So we go to the coin toss. We pit tails, but Thorne Cutman wins it. They select the goal defense first, so here we go. First play of the first overtime. There goes Chambers going up the left side. We get tackled inside the 20. At the 12 yard line, Gene, Speedy, Singleton, cut in the corner. Did he get the first down? Second and one, no he didn't. So we go back to Chambers and he cruises into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. That's touchdown run number four for Justin Chambers. So we go with the PAT, the kick is up and the kick is good. We got the lead for the first time today. It's 55 to 48. Alabama State. Now we got to stop him. But there goes Simmons up the middle and he's tackled at the 10 yard line. So now here, go, here we go again. Hines, right side, tackled at the five. Second and four, Bonner. Steps back to pass. He looks in the end zone and that's deflected away. But Simmons did catch that out of bounds. Lucky. Third and four. Bonner finds Hines in the flat, but that goes nowhere. As a matter of fact, they lost yards on that play. So fourth and ten. One more stop and we win. But look at Bonner. Get it past the defender and get into the plane. Touchdown, Bethune Cookman. What a play by Bonner. Our defense fell asleep. And now they need the PAT. It's up and it's good. And we're tied once again at 55. So now we're going into a second overtime. But Thorne Cookman has the ball first this time. Bonner steps back, pops it. He finds Matt Simmons, taken down by Blake Rollins. It's second and manageable, though. There goes the end around to Simmons. Breaking tackles and going up the gut. Jason Moore took him down. First and goal. Another end around this time to Hines. He goes up the middle and he's tackled at the one-yard line. So here we go once again. They do another end around to their tight end homes. It's another touchdown for, for Bethune Cookman. They settle for the PAT. The kick is up and the kick is good. And now they have the lead back. It's 62 to 55. So now it's our turn on offense. We go with the half at the red to the men all the way from VA and he cruises in. Touchdown, Alabama State. That's five touchdown runs for Chambers. So now we decide to go with the two-point conversion once again. We asked Corso. He suggested we go for the field goal. But we're ready to go home now. We're tired of this. We're going to go for the win. And if you saw the formation, you already know what we're going with. We're going with the half at the red. The Chambers untouched and into the end zone. It's over. It's over. Let's get out of here. We get out of Daytona Beach with a victory. Justin Chambers comes through in the clutch once again, just like he did last year. The man all the way from VA is the truth. What a game for the Hornets. What a game for Bethune Cookman. Unfortunately for them, they fall to 0-6. But we go to 5-1. The nation was on alert. We was on upset alert. We was down 21 nothing at one point. And we managed to pull off one of our best comebacks ever and the number three greatest game of all time in the history of this series. That's how you play. That's how you pop up in the clutch, baby.